All right, YouTube. This is Two Cent back at you with my two cents on Echoes of Mana, and uh, we're in for a treat today. We're gonna look at this new event. Uh, it's got some good. It's got some bad, and we're just gonna kind of go through those things and just kind of take a look and see what's going on with them. So uh, first off, let's uh, head over to there and. Just as a quick thing, uh, go to your uh, Trial of the Toughest. The last piece of uh, uh, the Nitwit and uh, the Randy Dupe is in there now. You can uh, grab that before the end of the event. That's just a quick reminder for you. Now let's go down to this event. I have gone through it. I've just tinkered with it a little bit here and there. Just so I can kind of feel where the, uh, uh, the comp might be to try and work on your min and max piece of it. Because I do think this is going to be something that you're going to like want to retry over and over and over which is why it only costs one stamina but then also um you can just hit retry while you're inside of it and have it you know not cost you any extra but i do think that this is going to be a lot of just getting the the right sort of you know crits in the right sort of dodges and just getting that timing down just perfectly to kind of inch out just that little bit extra but let me uh let me show you here so in our ranking details, I am currently number two in our bracket. And what has been uh, nice that I, one of the things I like about this event here in this game uh, versus other uh, games that have similar events is there's only, if you look at the ranking rewards, they're only putting us with 150 people, which means we're getting branched out. And they probably have some sort of uh, predefined amount of uh, um of kind of groups that they're having uh, people go in and then as you participate in the event you're getting thrown into the uh, uh, you know kind of sorted into them and uh, you know of course if they all fill up with 150 they'll just make more groups but what I like about this is that you're not necessarily competing against the whole server you know we've all seen those games where you're going to do some sort of uh, competitive PvE and it's like oh man you get to get a dupe of a character and this and that but oh you have to be the number one person on the server uh, you know we see that in PvP stuff as well and I'll tell you what that is some of the biggest turn off for me because I'm like okay you know what I might spend a little bit in the game but I'm not competing with the people who actually <laughs> have money to spend uh, you know uh, and, and you also have the rewards in, in this one are not as egregious as the ones in those games, but I still w would like to see a little bit better here. You can see up to you know, the, only the 75th spot gets one of these lances here. And that lance is not one of the ones that comes with stat increases. I don't get it. Uh, this is one of those things. Anybody who participates should be at least be able to get the aesthetic lance bottom you know like no no joke like why why not give that to people as just something that they can have uh, just to showcase that they at least participated in the event so maybe a year from now if they're still playing the game somebody could be like oh where'd you get that and and you know they be like here you know i got it at the you know i was here the first month of the game something like that i don't understand why we're not giving this to every player now um Maybe they have enough categories or sections of people that uh, they don't ever get filled up to 150. Maybe they're just going to get filled up to 75 and everybody will get one anyway. But, like, I ain't holding my breath for that. So, I don't understand why we don't have that. I hope that is something that they decide to change before the end of this. Or at least we give them some feedback to say, hey, in the next one, can you please at least give us the aesthetic? Like, come on. Um... I do find that you know, I, I don't care about the crystal differences because if you're you know a whale that you're probably going to you know be near the top or at the top of these things anyway, uh, you don't care the differences between 600 crystals or not uh, whatnot. Uh, so I mean I'm just glad we're getting anything at all. Now it does look like uh, what is it the first uh, what 10 that get the uh, the plus five or the plus three I should say for the five percent. Yeah, the first 10, which is nice. Sometimes they break it down where it's only the first place one or only the top three. But, you know, top 10, at least that makes it just a little bit better. Like I said, I think everybody should at least get the aesthetic. And I think you should maybe, like, the top 75, you know, at least get uh, a 1% or something like that. Uh, at the end of the day, 5% of, of the strength stat 
uh, on a character that you're normally going to average some, uh, somewhere around 1,700 uh, strength. That's only 85 uh, additional strength. It's very, it's a very small amount. Probably not going to make a huge bunch of, uh, difference uh, in their overall ability to clear anything, and probably even in their overall ability to uh, uh, to have reduced times in clearing things like uh, like this event. So that being said, it is kind of nice. There is some problems there. Uh, let's just get it a little bit uh, nicer for the uh, the free-to-play players or the casual player who's just going to clear this once and be done with it and not worry about the min and max piece of it. I also do think that there's definitely going to be some of those players and some of those brackets that don't need no spending money to, to be able to succeed in this. And, this. and that is one of the things that I'm looking to find is those uh, crazy racks of players that are up there pulling the exact same numbers as everybody else. And, you know, normally what I would say about those things is, you know, a four-star should be able to outperform, but if, if your skill is so good on, on some of these lower uh, characters and you're able to put them together with getting the right buffs from their paired units, great. That's perfect. I think having those different nuances in the game is how it should be. Uh, reward players for thinking and trying things out and raising characters that others may not have thought about. That's great. So let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at what my current strategy is and see what you kind of uh, can deal with on your on your own side of things. So let's open up my little party here. Yes, you'll have a separate party screen. So if you go to alter any of these units, this is going to be some place you're going to have to come in and remove them from. Just remember that. So this is what I'm currently using. Uh, I have my Reese here. And... Uh, She's just got her normal gear as much as she can. She's stacked out just like she normally is. And then I added in Serafina here. And I'll tell you what, I, I've tinkered back and forth, and I've had success uh, in both ways. Some of them I, I'm only using Reese, and the other two are just there as stat sticks. And what I mean by that is they, uh, they both have a passive that's actively benefiting my, uh, my main character. So if you look back in the skills here, She's got paired unit. That's 8% attack that I'm getting from her. Okay, that's awesome. And now if you look over here at Randy, what I like about him is he's giving me 6% wind damage. I don't like to double stack uh, strength so much. I, I would like to have that uh, wind element and the uh, strength bonus. I think that's the best way to go. Uh, I'll, I could tinker some more and see if maybe another person with some uh, additional strength are going to come out ahead, but I just don't think so. I think the elemental damage is what's going to be uh, uh, eke out here in the numbers. So, the other way that I've kind of been running uh, uh, some of these um, tests is actually putting Serafina in slot one. And what I'll do is I'll just use her uh, her skill to um, to debuff the boss. It doesn't uh, uh, do much damage. It's a magic attack. I think this boss has really high magic defense. So this, uh, it's merely just to get that constitution break and then be able to just uh, switch and uh, utilize Reese. Um, uh, what I'll do is I'll buff her attack and then just go to town. Now, what, the problem with that is like you're getting you know the, the con reduced, but I don't think it's enough to compensate for the amount of time that it takes to swap, use, swap, and use. So you'll have to tinker with that. If you're uh, struggling to get, th uh, to, uh, to get through and finish the boss fight before the uh, Raxa does her like huge map AoE, which I believe is at 45 seconds, uh, then this might be a way of going to being able to just be able to chunk a little bit harder even though it takes some of that because over the course of the time period, that con break gets better and better because it lasts a whole minute, and so you're going to have uh, more time for that to take effect to increase the damage number. What I'm having uh, an issue is, is I think I'm killing her too quickly for the con break to actually matter as much as just getting in there, buffing her, and going to town. Um, and what I mean by that is obviously using Charger. That's an extra 25% strength. I definitely think that's uh, useful here. I am using her wind set, and I do have some nice gear. I'm at actually about 1,800 strength on her and uh, about 440 luck there. So she is pretty good. Now, my strategy I, uh, in this is I actually just don't move out of the way for anything. So let's go ahead and just do a quick run, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. 
we got to get through the loading screens here for a moment. Now I'm going to be all sorts of uh, messed up while doing this live, but we'll see if I can manage it. Uh, one thing is you want to make sure when you come in here they don't have your auto on, because uh, that's going to mess up the first few seconds and those things are going to really matter for you. So here we're going to go, we're going to load in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stand here and I'm going to get my buff on. I'm going to eat this first attack. And then what I want to do is make sure that I'm back enough that I can hit her with my full combo here. And then miss this attack here. And then I'm just going to go to town. And I'm just going to stand in all of this. In the... Oh! I actually lost my combo there. That's actually going to be a major problem. Uh, a lot of times, like, uh, depending on the damage of... Uh, of the attack or the uh, the defense of your character, you can actually avoid uh, losing your combo. It looks like I lost there, but it looks like I still have some decent numbers. So let's just kind of take a look at what my score is compared to what I would normally get uh, on this. So uh, here we go. Yeah, th uh, 376,000. That's actually a thousand less than what uh, my best time is, but I did it in 25 seconds, which is giving me a really big boost. Now, the, my best time here, we can take a look at it. And I believe it was 24 seconds. Let's go, let's go. There's too many screens at the end here. Wish they would kind of consolidate that up just a little bit. But, uh, you know, we all know the load screens. Taking a little long in this game. So let's just take a look at the rankings here. Like I said, I am in that second place. But I have 377, so I wasn't too far off, but I was pretty close. And yeah, I did it in 24 seconds, which is might be the difference between just some crits in there or not losing that uh, that combo that, I, that it looks like I lost during that fight. And that could have been a really good run that might have got me to, you know... Seven, you know, three, seven, eight, or something like that. But I think that's what it means by you're going to have to come in here and just kind of do some trials over and over and over to just get the right RNG for your abilities to not lose your combo and to have your crits hit, uh, especially where you need them to hit. But the last thing here that I want to go is one of the other negative things that we're seeing in this is that we have some people who are definitely hacking or altering their account in some way to, to uh, rank higher in this. So I'm not saying this guy doesn't have skill, but what I'm saying is uh, he's not pulling all this off in three seconds. So if you're looking down there, it took him only three seconds to clear, and it gave him 96,000 bonus. Definitely a problem here. So if you're looking at people on your leaderboard and you're seeing, oh, wow, they cleared this in you know three, two, or seven seconds, clearly an indicator that they have uh, probably altered the game in some way and we uh, uh, I have seen people reach out on the main discord and they've been kind of replied to as hey yeah we're aware and we're looking into it we wanted to have a very minimal impact on the rankings on uh, on the you know this event at, by the end of it so it looks like they're gonna work on trying to get rid of those I don't know if they're gonna wait until the last day uh, and do like a calculation sort of thing at the end where they kind of go through and kind of verify some things and then kick out the the ones that don't look legit I don't know we're gonna have to wait and see what they do with it this is a problem in every game that I have played. Uh, for some reason, people just feel like they, they can't hack it, so they do hack it. I don't know. I don't understand it. But uh, that is something that people have been looking at and been kind of saying, hey, this doesn't seem right. And you're right. Uh, and it's uh, being addressed on their end. They are aware of it. All right. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. I'm kind of enjoying this event. Let's kind of see how it shakes out and give them some feedback because uh, it looks like if we kind of tweak just a few things here and there, these events can be really fun and really rewarding for the players, but we're not there quite yet. Anyhow, that's been my two cents.